templates here. You can show all your social media temp, uh, templates that you can do, personal invitations, cards, resumes, t-shirts, um, business planning for presentations, uh, websites, logos, business cards. You can do invoices, proposals, all kinds of marketing stuff over here for posters, flyers, infographics, brochures, newsletters, education. You can do like lesson plans, um, worksheets, certificates, storyboards, and trending. You can do um, different types of maps. You can do greeting cards. There's so many templates in this system um, for the free version that can get you started. For the real estate side of it, you could do your Facebook cover, um, which I can show you one of them that I have done. But let's just start off. I will kind of go into some of the designs that I have done, and then I will each individually go into how they were created. Um, if you have any questions, post it in the chat, and Tommy will uh, reach out and let me know what the questions are so I can answer them one by one. If you have questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask them as we go along. Okay, so um, all of you can have all of your designs here, your branding kit. The first thing I'll go into is the branding kit. The branding kit is for the upgraded version where you can have your picture, lo your pictures, logos, your branded colors. As you can see, I have Location Real Estate's all their branded colors here, so I can instantly just go in and pick a color right away. You have branded uh, your brand fonts. You can go in here and select different types of fonts that you like that you use a little bit more um, regularly. My favorite is a Remail because it just looks really clean. Uh, you can actually upload fonts. You can go to Google, Google Fonts, and they have like a million different fonts on there. So if you like it and it's not in Canva, you can actually upload a font in there for you can, to actually use it. So the upgraded version gives you this uh, easy access way to be able to create things. Uh, you can have all of your folders here. This is an upgraded thing as well. So I have my FISBO expired marketing, well, I used to, um, social posts, uh, real estate guides, like a, a, in here I have a seller's guide, a buyer's guide. Um, oops. I have um, property marketing things that I've done for a property that I've had listed. Um, and then I've done some other kind of um, location designs and stuff like that as well, my location posts. So I'll kind of go into the designs. We'll create something and show you how to go, go from there. So in my designs here, um, I've created, let's see, what can we go in? That's the easiest post here that I've done. I'll go into this one here. So this is a Instagram or Facebook post that we can create. There's so many options and different things that we'll go into. Actually, I'll create this one first. So this one was a little fun thing that I did. Um, it never went anywhere. It's usually what happens with my designs. I'll design them and then they won't go anywhere. <laughs> so um, this one here, I kind of pumped up to join location. Um, you have locationre.com. And then I put a little pair of red heels and then it just says 100% commission here. This was incredibly easy to make. So if you start off over on the side here, it has all of your templates. So if you click on templates, there's pre-templated um, versions there that you can create from. So they're already done. You can just plug and play the information in. You can upload a bunch of different designs, pictures, um, any kind of image that you want to use. I got my family, my mom there. Um, any kind of pictures, if you want to do anything with Curbio, Helm Actions, you can take the images and you can actually put them in here to use them for future. You have photos here. Um, with the non-upgraded version, there are so many photos in here, it's unbelievable. Um, however, some of them are, um, you have to pay for. For, so the, for the unbranded, or I'm sorry, the unupgraded version, usually the, some of the photos are about a dollar each, so you'd have to pay for them if you wanted to use them. The upgraded version, you'll see where it says Pro on the side right here. So some of them say pro on them. That'll let you know that there'll be a charge, a charge for them unless you have the upgraded version. So um, one of the things I looked for was a, a set of red heels. So I just typed in here the search pro and I think I just typed in red heels. 
and I found a ton of different red heels in there. I found, I found this one perusing through. So there's a ton of different stuff in here that you can pick from. If you want to change a photo, you just have to drag it, drag it over and put it in there. If you decide that that's not a, a picture that you like anymore, there's a back button right here. So with Canva, it automatically saves every time you do something. So you want to make sure that if you don't like what you just put in there, you're just hitting the back button over here. I'm uh, hitting the back button so it goes back to the design you had before. Um, over here you have elements, which I'll show you in some of the designs that I've done. You can take these elements. Um, if you want to just take a box, you can drag it over and you want an image directly just to go right into that, oops, right into the box uh, directly. You can put that image. It's not letting me do it right now um, for whatever reason. I don't know, but you can normally drag it over and just put it put it somewhere and it'll stay. Uh, my camera's been being a little picky lately. But anyways, you can drag over a photo and it'll stay right in that box. We'll design something in a second so I can actually show you. For some reason, this one's not working very well. But you can find um, different types of features. So if you want to find a, a, um, any kind of featured uh, image that they're using currently at the moment, um, if you say you liked this this guy with their child you can kind of put the image over here put it over you can put it over the shoe you can you can move it around so i'll kind of go over that in just a second too over here you have texting i'm sorry let me go back to the elements real quick so the elements you have grids you have shapes that you can add in there different frames so if you want to do a frame and only have a picture put into that frame you can do so you can have stickers so if you wanted to put a design of love, you know, you love these little pair of red shoes, you can put that there and it'll uh, kind of animate. Um, you can put charts. So if you wanted to do a, do a chart based off of a real estate graphic or something like that you've got going on, you can use charts. Uh, gradients are a lot of fun too. Gradients are kind of neat because they have the, they go into different colors. So you can do a lot of different designs and changing the color codes up. So here you can see um, there's pink and then there's purple. If you look up here, you can actually change the colors by saying, okay, I wanna change this blue to a location real estate blue. And I wanna change this pink. And I'm gonna change this pink to um, location gray. So now all of a sudden I've changed the gradient to a location color scheme. So we'll kind of design something and I'll show you in regards to that. Um, you have different types of lines. So if you just click on it, it'll automatically just put it in the middle of a page. If you like this line, um, they have different types of things. Now they have these popular things with coronavirus, bold foliage, zodiac signs. Um, they have a Virgo there, so we should put that up there because I'm Virgo. So uh, we'll put that there. So you can put different types of posts, uh, pictures and images and stuff like that. So you can create all kinds of stuff. They have already stuff ready there for you to um, design with. Over here you have text. So they can already create um, different types of text messages. So if you just want to put a header, um, a header on there, you just click on it and it'll automatically pop up into the middle of the page and you could just start typing because it's already highlighted in blue. Uh, location real estate. So the header is there, different sizing, subheading, uh, body of a text. You can take this and when you click on it, a bar up here shows up. Um, so you can change the font. So you can go from Arimo to Versalis, however you pronounce that, um, uh, or Zing Rust Base. So you can change all the different types of logos. Arima is always my favorite because it's clean. You can change it into some kind of calligraphy. So as you can see, there are a lot of different uh, fonts in here. Um, or you can directly right here, just upload a font right from here uh, with the upgraded version. So you can create that as well. So um, that's the text messaging part here. Now, if you want to have a little fun with stuff that they've already pre-designed, um, you can have, you can use these down here. 
So if I want to do Parmesan cheese, sorry, Tommy, it's not Romano, but it's, uh, it's cheese. So <laughs> um, I'm going to do Parmesan cheese. It'll automatically pop up here and we can change it to Romano cheese. And now all of a sudden you've read a post with Romano cheese. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Love you, Tommy. So anyways, you have a little post down here. And you can say call Romano for all for all your your uh, program needs. There you go. So now Tommy's got this post up here that you can post. You can move it anywhere. The other cool thing about it is that you can actually move it. So if you want to make it upside down, you can have it upside down. You can move it all the way around. So you can kind of make fun little designs. Now if I wanted this to show behind the shoes, there is positions over here as well. So I can make it, um, I can group things together, which I'll talk about in a second. I can position this, this to go behind the shoes. So I can say backwards, or I can say forwards. So you can move them around. I can say, it can go up to the top. It can go to the bottom and go to the left. I can put it back in the center um, or I can put it in the middle and the center. So there's different types of positioning that you can put the wording around in. Um, so that's kind of how, how that works. I'll just get rid of that. Um, so here, now that there's two different elements, there's the, the top part of the, where it says Romano cheese and then the little verbiage. So if you want to de delete the whole entire, um, thing that we just added there of all the verbiage, you have to say delete the group. If you just delete the element, it's only going to delete one of them. So you delete group and it just automatically goes away. So let's go into, if you want to add music over here, you can add different types of music. Um, and now all of a sudden it's going to, it's going to have a post. It's a five second post and it's going to have some music to it. That's something that's newer. Um, but I haven't really played around because I haven't really done anything with music on it, but um, we can place with that later. Videos, I will show you some of the things that I've done with videos into integrating. So we'll get out of this in a second. They have background. So if you wanna start off with a, a background, a clean post with a background, then what we can do is we can literally take this one and just make it the whole entire background. And it will do it. If this one had nothing on it, it would just make the whole entire background that. Um, so you can start off with a pineapple if you wanted to. You could start off with a flower. Um, and you could go up here and see if there's anything. You could search. I don't have anything for a home. So, um, so any kind of abstract gradient. So if you want to go into, you know, different colorings, uh, textures. So if you want to add some textures to your to your post, you could definitely do so. Um, so it'll add like some kind of texture. So you can have different kinds of different designs and stuff. If you want to add a flower, you could add a flower up there. Um, now say, you know, you see where this flower, it's only hiding a little bit there. You can adjust that by saying crop. There's all these different features up here, which we will go into as well. It says crop. You can move the photo over so the flower is more so in the frame and you can hit done and now the flower is more in the frame. So we can create something. I'll get out of the shoe because it's making it a little bit more confusing, but, and then you have your folders. So if you have anything up inside your folders, you have that. So let's go back out of here. I'm just going to close. So one of the easier ones that I have done is this little post that I did last night. So this is just like a Facebook post if I wanted to educate someone on the buying process and the steps that they'll need to take. So I took, um, I think five or six slides. I can't remember, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I went, okay, I did nine. I did 10 slides. All right, so I went further than I thought. So I have 10 different slides in here with the, with the guide to buying. So literally all I did, and this was pre-built by the way, I didn't really do anything other than change the wording and the colors. 
So with the guide, I just typed in guide to buying and then I just put with Michelle. So you can place this anywhere you want. You can have it in the middle. I can have it, you know, up on the top. You can move this around. I changed the color of the slide by just clicking on the slide and the button up here where it says color. I can change the color to any other scheme that I decide that I would like to have. So if I wanted to change this to bright red, I could do so. I added another slide by going like this. So right here, you can, hold on, okay. So here I can move this slide down by just pressing down or I can move a slide up with the down or arrows. I can copy this page and it'll duplicate to a page two, which is what I did. I recreated this, this page and dropped it down and created 10 slides. So you just click on this and create 10 different slides. If I wanted to delete this slide, I could just click the delete button. If I just want to add a, a brand new page, clean white slate, nothing on it, I would just add a new page. So, but because I wanted to keep the same template through all of the slides, I, I just went copy page. So when I went down to the next one, I decided to change the color from gray to the pink. And then I put in, okay, well now the next step is gonna be a property search. So it's gonna be, we're gonna do an automated search for our customer. So I went up there, I duplicated the slide, went down and said, okay, the next step is showings. So the top five, this doesn't, it looks like an S, but it's a five with this font. But okay, showings, let's, uh, we're gonna do the top five homes. We're gonna go out and take a look at the top five. The next step after that is um, you can make an offer, you know, Price and form, uh, price and terms matter. So just different types of things that you can put in there to educate them. So as you're going down, you know, scheduling inspections, you're doing the earnest deposit. You can change these to move over here. You can change it to move over there. You can change. You can make it. You know, make it uh, have a little bit more of a design. Change the font because this font's really horrible. But um, page seven is you know now you got to talk about the loan approval you know work closely with your lender so as you go through all of this the cool part of all of this is why i'm showing you this is at the very end you can actually download this to um you can download it to a png a jpeg a pdf if you wanted to and the coolest part that i love is the video so let's download it all 10 slides as a video So you can post these types of videos on your Facebook page, your Instagram, um, I mean, wherever you want, really. So I can open this up. And now all of a sudden, my, my page has a 30 second or 47 second video that it just goes and just randomly just goes. So super easy to do. And I just created a video for my Facebook page. And it's educating, it's educational. And you can put this on your YouTube, it's a video. So now you're educating your customers on the different steps. So you can get a little bit more obviously in detail with these videos if you want to. And you can create, um, you can create uh, music to go along with it or have like a video that you're, where you're talking um, if you wanted to upload that as well. A little bit more technical, we won't get into that, but at least this shows you that you can create your own videos. This took me, less than five minutes to create. Um, and at the end of the day, now you've got a video that you can, you know, put, uh, I'll put out everywhere. So that was really easy to make. And you can just start creating slides. Um, does anybody have any questions in regards to that? There was one question and um, she was just asking, why would we post one uh, a slide post instead of just one? She said, thought it's best to post one slide at a time. Um, I mean, I think it did, you did a pretty good job explaining it and just an example, um, but do you yeah. have an answer So you can do one slide or, or doing 10 slides is basically just doing a video is what I was, going to, what I was basically showing you. 10 slides is probably somebody, something that nobody would really watch unless it's a video where it's, it's, it's automatically just going for them. I also, I also think, I mean, even with the, the, the 10 slides, I don't know if you can directly put that post into like Instagram and it'll show up with all those 10 slides. Um, I, I mean, would Instagram is very interactive and engaging and, and the more, 
uh, the more slides you have on there, the, the more they're going to want to swipe on their po your post, and right. then the more they're going to want to come back to your post. So. Correct. So um, I am not an Instagram guru by any means, shape, or form. I'm still learning. So Tommy, if you know anything about Instagram that would help with this Canva, spit it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just imagine because I know that Instagram allows up to ten. 10 slot, 10 pictures okay. on any given post. So that would be perfect. Right. Yeah. So, um, just on any slide here again, so you can change the different font sizes right here. You can change the colors. So if you wanted to have, um, this, you wanted to have it blue instead, so you can change the colors there. Um, you can make it bold or italic if you can other underline it. If you chose to, you can make the fonts go over to the left, to the right, or in the middle. Um, you can capitalize everything. You can uncapitalize everything. You can add bullet points to certain things that you put in there as well. Um, and then, you know, you can also do the spacing. So if on this, you didn't really like the, the letters, you wanted to make them a little wider, you could do so. And if you wanted to make the height smaller, so you want to make it really close together, or a little farther apart, you could do so through here as well. Positioning, like I showed you here before, you can make an image go forward, backwards, you can send it up to the top of the page, the middle of the page, the bottom of the page, and then you can move it over left or right or center it. So um, if you're not sitting there going, having to go, is this all aligned up, it'll automatically just align it up for you by clicking on the button. So, um, Oh, I don't use that. Um, so shading as well. So if you wanted to make the, the colors on here a little bit more gradient or transparent, I mean, you would just, you can bring this down so it's, you know, not, not so pink or you can have it all the way up if you choose to. Um, some of the, whoopsies, let's go back here. You can add a link in here as well. So if you wanted to add a website link, you could do so. Um, and then, so when click, people are clicking on it, they can automatically just click on your link. So it could be a website, it could be a link right to a property, et cetera. Um, if you wanted to lock it, you could lock this. So it's just basically a template and it can't be touched or moved around. Um, and you can also duplicate this whole thing as well. So if you want to duplicate it, because you like the, the template of it, you could do so and recreate something different um, with the same scheme. So, or you could just, you know, delete, so delete uh, the image of it. You don't delete the whole thing from here. So that's pretty much the overview of Canva. I will show you um, Yeah, it um, the real Jonathan Lickstein, you're right. It is great for creating brand stories. <laughs> um, I think Jonathan's on here. So the real the real Jonathan the real Jonathan Lickstein. Um, he's on here as well. So uh, I showed you, here's a, a Facebook cover page that I created. So some of these are kind of already templated out, like the, the image here, you can create them by capturing elements, photos, and stuff like that. You can overlay, you know, words like you're worth it. Um, these are just uh, little little pieces that are just added there. You know, all these little things, just overlays that you can overlay on here, and it makes it look like it has a lot of texture to it. So, and you know, don't sell yourself short. Um, so these are things that you can just create yourself. You can change the colors, as you can see. The back, the backing, um, the um, the background has um, texture to it as well. And then you can change the photo here. So if I didn't like this girl, I can go to photos and I could say, I want a picture of, uh, of uh, ocean. And I liked this giant wave. I could put this giant wave in here and now all of a sudden I have a different, you know, a different look. Or I like the shark, I could put the shark in here. Um, so there's different things that you can always change and move around and, and, and want. But if you don't like it, remember that the back button is up here. So you can always change it back. One of, one of the neat things you can do with that one 
you're exporting. Um, you sometimes see banner art on Facebook pages that our Canva can automate some animation. So when you upload this uh, video file to Facebook, it then moves itself around. That's in the top right corner in the download. If you drop down the arrow, there's an animate button. Um, there you go. Drop that down. Drop down PNG. There you go. Hit video or GIF, and it will it will give you animation options. Right. And where it'll have some movement on the letters, the pictures. It's it's very engaging. So, I have one that's created like that already. So let's show you that one. Let's just go right into that. Uh, where is it? Those aren't mine. Has anyone on here used Canva before for design work? Uh, John Rankin Williams was saying that he has a uh, a pro account, so it sounds like he uses it. Um, I don't know if you have uh, a microphone that you could chime in here, John, but feel free. So this is another one here where I created, again, I created a couple different pages here. I changed it. So I went from buying, selling, investing, um, with Michelle, and then at the time I was with Remax. So what this does is when you go download, and like what Jonathan was saying, is you go um, a video or um, a GIF. I think I did a video with this one though. And you go to your Facebook page, you download it, and you upload it as a Facebook um, cover page it will run through these and it looks really, I don't have it on my Facebook page anymore, but it'll run through them. So it'll go buying, selling, and it'll just keep running through it over and over again. And it looks really cool. So that's what uh, Jonathan's referring to, the real Jonathan. So yes, uh, Terry has a Facebook cover. Yeah, Facebook it's uh, about a year ago started allowing video uploads, maybe two years ago. Um, in addition to just images, but video files as well. So you can add that when someone goes to your page. It's just very engaging and professional if you can have something that slides through what you do, maybe pictures of sold properties or your slogan, your taglines, maybe farming areas that you work. Um, it's, it's very engaging when a consumer sees that because it's something that is not very commonly used on other pages. Right. So... Yeah, you could take any te any template, as you can see over to the left right here, you can take any one of these templates and, and create something out of it. You can create four or five different ones of these templates, put it all together in here and create something pretty neat out of it. But yeah, the, the newest is the um, video and the GIFs, which is super fun to play with. Um, another thing that I can show you as well when creating, I took Oops, go back into my designs. I took all of our mug shots the other day and I created an image from all of our images. So some of our images, the backgrounds of them actually have the white background in the back. So what I did is you can go up to effects up here and it says background remover. So I took, some of them already had them, but I took all of, all of the white backgrounds that we had in the back um, and got rid of them. So now I could take the, all of us and I could move them around. So like I could put myself over here. I could put Tommy in the middle. Line it all up. And I can change this. So in order to make this whole thing an actual image, um, you have to, you can group together by high, selecting all of the images and the writing and it'll say group. So now that I grouped it, I grouped everything together. So now you can just move it all around instead of moving all of it. So that's kind of cool. The next thing that I did in order to create another post from this is I, um, I downloaded, keep doing that. I downloaded the image with a transparent background um, by clicking on transparent PNG and I downloaded it. When I downloaded it to my desktop, I re-uploaded it, it's a little bit of work, but then I created us and I put us back as here. So what I did with that is I went and I created a flyer. 
this flyer um, was something that was kind of fun because I took some elements of the system and I created this, I downloaded it in my uploads and I put it here and now I could take it and I could upload it anywhere I wanted to. So I ended up putting it here. I grabbed some different elements. Um, as you can see, my elements are right here. And um, in my recently used, I, I used this element here and this element here. So this element, I just clicked on it, it pops up. I rotated it. I shrunk it and I extended it and I changed the color. And then I made it this part right here. The other part I did is I took this element that just looks like this. I moved it around. I shrunk this part because this part wasn't needed. And then I made it up here. So the cool part that, about that is, is that there's elements. There's, as you see when I clicked on it, there's three different color codes up here. So I changed our color scheme. This one's the darker one. So I'll make that red right now. This one's the middle one, so I can make that pink. So as you can see, the color codes are changing. So it makes it kind of fun. I uploaded the logo on there, added an image and a little bit of text. And now I have a flyer um, showing commission and all of the, all the directors and owner. So um, kind of fun, another little fun thing that this program can do. So um, one of my, ones that I really enjoyed making was the video. So there's a lot of video with this system now. So this I created an Instagram post. I'm trying to learn Instagram, I know. Almost 40 now, I should probably start learning <laughs> because it's so big for business. But um, this was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed this. So I actually downloaded an app on my phone and I cannot remember the name of it at the moment. Um, it's called Capture. So I captured, I, I went to the website on my phone because I wanted to, let me show you, create this video from my phone and put it in and put it embed it or input it whatever into the phone in here to make it look like it was actually on a phone. So this video that I created with this app called Capture now just shows that we have two different plans. So blue plan and the silver plan. Um, and then it goes back. So it's in a phone. So the Instagram sees this video that's going up and down. It says join now. It has our website that they can actually go to. And it just says 100% commission. So um, I took the gradient backgrounds that I was showing you and the elements uh, under gradients right here. I just took uh, I think I took two of these and I just inverted them to move them all around and I just created a quick little background for it just to give it some color. Um, now, I remember I said when you click on it, you can change the color. So if I wanted this to be red to be a little bit more flashy, it won't be the bright red, but at least I'll integrate it and give it a little bit more pop. Um, if I wanted to change this one over here and I wanted to make it green, oopsies. I can change that one to green. So now it's got a little, little bit different color in it as well. I can hit the back button and have the same color I had before. So the video one was a lot of fun. Now, if you don't have a video, that's fine. You can actually go over here and change the video to um, different videos. So I'll show you a different one that I have that I created, this one here. So. 2020 was supposed to be the best year ever, but it's not. So this year, it says this year, I will push forward to grow my business. This is not a picture, it's actually a video. So the video actually shows her looking like she's communicating, networking, talking, and trying to create business. So I created this, you can download it, upload it to Instagram, and it's showing uh, content. So you could create you know, sit down one night, create 20 of them and send them, you know, send a couple out each day. So this has endless possibilities for you to be able to create something, some kind of content. You could put a video of a home in there, completely change it all out. 
all of this is just elements. So every one of these little things, they have different elements in here that you can actually just, you know, remove it and put something different there. So everything is created. This here, the video is actually put into another element. So the other element is from the frames. So you can go and click through all the different frames. So if I wanted her um, to look like she's on a, on a laptop or she's on a, a, a computer, uh, I can put that there and it looks like she's talking through the computer. Um, so you can create all kinds of stuff with this program. Um, I don't think I have any. Um, the other thing, seller guides and, and buyer's guides. I didn't create these. I actually signed up to a company. I think it was like Honey, Honey, Honey Bee, something I can't remember. But she had all these templates that she would give. Um, okay, open a new editor because this is old. Um, that she had given out. So this is just an idea. Bear with me a second. I have to upload it into the new editor. Okay. So this person just designed this on her own. So she just put the number seven there. She took a photo uh, that was already here because this photo is like used everywhere. Um, and then she just added a little bit of verbiage here. She put an image in the background and she just put in a little bit of writing. Here, she did another image on the top and then just put in tip number one and started writing about paint, painting the walls. Um, Another here, another image, tip number two. This is so clean and so nice looking and so easy to do that um, everybody should be doing these. I mean, this is like a, such a cute photo. Um, but she's color coding everything. If you kind of see it, it's all neutral, light, elegant colors. Nothing is flashy, nothing is, is um, obscene like these colors over here. I mean, you could do bright colors, but this is elegant and nice and um, looks very professionally done. So I didn't create this one. I wish I could take the credit for it, <laughs> but I didn't create that one. Um, another really, really great idea is to do monthly market updates. So as you could see, when this flips through, so I created three files and you could, uh, tiles, I'm sorry, and you could just flip through them. This one here, I just put an image in the background. I took four boxes, put in some writing, and every month I would go in and I'd be like, all right, the average price in that area is 435,000. Um, the average days on the market in Pompano is 64 days on the market. The average listings um, on hand at all times is 1,197. And the uh, home sold within that month or whatever the number was, was 100. So I did it for Pompano, I did it for Fort Lauderdale and I did it for Deerfield. I would again go and download it, create a video of it an upload or a GIF of it. I'm sorry, this one I did a GIF. And it would just, you know, rotate back and forth on Facebook showing the numbers. Um, very, very simple, easy to do. Oops. I think I might have just done something. I don't know. Um, all right, what else? Does anybody have any questions? This one was kind of fun. I was kind of you know, Jonathan does so many videos that I actually created this weekly webinar mastermind with this guy on it. And I thought it was really funny because we're all talking to you through Zoom now. I didn't show him this, but I am now. This is kind of him. <laughs> so I created that. Sorry, Jonathan. Um, I had to show that. I don't think he's on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one was kind of fun too that I did. Um, you know, we have a big billboard. One day we'll have a big billboard. But it says location real estate. You know, now that's a big sign. We're um, choose from two different monthly uh, membership plans, both 100% commission, and then you can actually do um, QR tags where it can send you straight to your website. Like this one goes right to locationre.com that I created. So you could do like I'm showing you so many different things on here. Uh, I created this for a listing I have. Will one of you please sell it because I need it sold. Um, waterfront property. So it just shows, you know, a couple different images of it, a couple different images of it. And then um, 
you know, just things that you can kind of create. And then what I did is like, you know, I downloaded it as a video and I put it on Facebook and it just, you know, spun through. Now, the other cool thing is that they integrated too, is you can actually, there's an animate button here too. You can animate things now. So if I wanted to tumble this to come in, I could tumble it. Stomp, it can kind of do like a stomp thing. Um, so you could do different types of designs and stuff like that too, so, which is kind of fun. So uh, you can change it and you can do all kinds of changing on it. Nothing ever has to be the same. So I'm going to pan that one. Um, what else have I done on here? That's pretty much kind of all that I have done. I've done, you know, time change stuff, full moon posts, you know, just random things that you could think of just to get yourself out there, you know. Um, considering buying and selling, you could do, you know, just a, a, a there's so many images on there that look so um, really pretty and elegantly done. This one here, the only thing I did to change it was I took the picture that they had in here. I took this little box, um, put it considered buying a home, and then they have this already here, this little template, this little image, and then I put a little image over here, click here, it'll make it look like a button. So, and then I put my website, I don't have that one anymore, but, um, but yeah, so, Again, there's so many different things that you could do. There's so many images. Um, I did an image here, what's my home worth? Um, my website had my, a picture of a property that I sold with a with the waterfront background um, in 33060. I took the image of what's my home worth from my website. I put the zip code in here. That's the only thing I did to this. And I created that image and I did a Facebook post and linking back to my website. So when they clicked on that, it went to my website, what's my home worth? And um, I got a ton of a ton of leads from that. Oh, I did that. Um, free 53 page home buying guide back in 2017. This image uh, was unbelievably, it, I probably got, which this was the ugliest thing I thought in the world, but it actually got me probably about uh over a thousand impressions in or not i'm sorry over ten thousand impressions and probably about 50 leads just from that post that i did in a three-day time span so just little things like this people want a home buyer guide they want to know um you know they they want to educate themselves they're starving for information one of the best places to get it is the internet so why not be a guide for that um, post stuff like this on a YouTube page and link it back to your website. Um, so there's a lot of things that that can be done. So um, yeah, uh, that's basically all that I am going to share with you. If you have any questions, please let me know if you want to know how to do something. Uh, we got another 15 minutes here that I can kind of um, go over. Oh, another really big thing too is um, you know, first responder toolkits. I was playing around with this on a template. I would never send this out because of the colors, but um, you know, first time responders home buyer toolkit going over, um, you know, different years, putting your year ex of experience in there. Everything can be done virtually, your clients' testimonials, the sales process, um, and then handing that out, doing a Facebook advertisement on something like that um, and trying to get leads through that. So these are different things that you can do. Uh, here's another Facebook cover page I did. Uh, find your home with a location agent today. All this is is just two video, uh, two pictures overlaying over each other, uh, an element and another element and some verbiage. So um, I've given you guys a lot to play with. Um, it's very easy to do. As you can see, it's just plugging and playing and just being creative. Um, I leave it at that. If you have any questions, if not, we will say goodbye. Anybody questions? Any any questions? Speak now. Otherwise, we will see you uh, next week. Still uh, figuring out the topic for next week, but we will let you let everybody know. Thanks, Michelle. You're welcome. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody.